Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube, Just Daf. Today's Daf is Maseches Nazir, Daf Lamed Aleph, number 31. We're starting a new parak today, the fifth parak of Maseches Nazir, the last line of Lamed Amun Bez. Beishamay Omer Hektish Tos Hektish. I don't know about Hektish today, even though it's Maseches Nazir, but it's related to the Naziros. Hektish is a little different than a Shvua and Hekt and and the Zeros are in the Durham. We'll talk about the difference more in Ian with Ben Zion. <coughs> Fundamental difference in Hektish versus Shvua or in the Durham. Basil <coughs> Omer ain't Hektish. Basil says that if you made Hektish by mistake, it's not Hektish. What's an example? There's Kaza. Omer Shar Shachar Shayetzim Basi Rishon. He wants to consecrate an animal, a bull that comes out of his house that's black. The black bull that comes out of my house first, Hareyu Hektish, Yatz Alapan. The first, right? He's saying this in the morning, and then later on in the afternoon, the animal comes out and happens to be a white cow, not a, a white bull, not a black bull. They shot my owner Hektish. They shot me, says it's Hektish. It's still owner in a Hektish. It's a mistake. It's not Hektish. Dina Zav, another example. Dina Zav, Shial Biyadi Rishon. He says, I'm going to consecrate a, a golden coin that comes. I'm going to reach it to a box of my coins that has gold coins, silver coins. He says, the gold coin, which comes in my hand first, Harayu Hektish, I'm being consecrating it for the base of Mikdash. Allah shall kesef, a silver coin. Beisham Aram Hektish, Shammah says it is Hektish. Beisham Aram Aram Hektish, Beisham Aram says it's not Hektish. Chavish al in the third case. Barrel of wine, Shalab Yadir Rishon. He goes down to his wine cellar, and there's also barrels of oil there. He says, the wine, the barrel of wine that I, that I pick up first, it's very dark down there. Harei Hektish is sanctified to the base of Mikdash, but also shall shaman. Unfortunately, he picks up a barrel of oil. But shaman from Hektish, shaman says, in all these cases, Hektish, but he still remember Hektish, Hektish, still says it's not Hektish. Right? It was a mistake. He wanted the gold. He wanted the wine. He wanted the black one. He got something else. For some reason, but still makes sense, right? If I'm Hektish, something, I make a mistake. It's right. Like Kiddushay toes, right? I'm a Kaddish woman. I say, Hareya Mikudash is Lee with his dinar zav, with his golden coin. It turns out it's a silver coin. It's a mistake. He only meant to make Kaddish with the golden coin, not the silver coin. So it's not Kedusha. And similarly, Beis Hill will hold. And that's why we passed him, presumably. And when it comes to Hektish, it's the same thing. Beis Shammai has a different opinion. So the Gemara tries to ascertain what is the reasoning behind Beis Shammai. Beis Shammai, Omerim Hektish. My time I do Beis Shammai, the Gemara asks, what's the reasoning of Beis Shammai? The Alfina Tchil is Hektish, Misal Hektish. But Gemara first suggests an answer. That we learn the concept of making something hectic from the end of hectic. What's the end of hectic? Not tamura. I feel a bit toast. I've hectic a little toast. Tamura is a case where an animal was already consecrated. And I try to exchange. I'll say, I don't want to give this animal. I'll give a different animal in place of this animal. The halach by tamura is that it gets kedusha, but the first animal does not lose its kedusha. So the halach happens to be by tamura. Musaka tamura says that if I right, exchange, let's say, a black bull for the animal that's consecrated and ends up being a white bull by tzmura for some reason it works the Gemara explains it over there so here also when I start to make something like this it should work also what do they answer to that why shouldn't it be like tzmura that's by tzmura it was already Kedusha you're just transferring Kedusha to something else however to start the cont of the Hekdesh by mistake you wouldn't start it even by Tmura, the Gemara challenges Beit Shammai, right? If you say this animal is in place of this animal, right, at midday, at midday, right? And it's not midday yet, it's the morning, right? Or you say it's Mihavi at Tmura, Nahi Shaita, it's not going to be Tmura at that, it's only going to be Tmura at 12 o'clock, not at 9 o'clock in the morning. So obviously you have to go after the guy's words. Hakanami look Megalium Milsa. Here also he says black ball and it ends up being a white ball, so it shouldn't be hectish. Just like Tamura, presumably it shouldn't be hectish because you have to go after his words. The words, right? The words are most important by how we find out what the person had in mind based on his words. So it turns out he said black ball, it's a white ball, so it shouldn't work. I'm a Rav Papa. So Rav Papa gives a different opinion of a a different answer for Rav Shama is the Svara. You have to look at the precise wording in our Mishnah. Not every case of Eishama, he says, Hektish. The fact that he said, right, he didn't say, I'm Mikadesh, my black bull. He says, So what was most, more important when he says language? We analyze his language. What was more important to him? The most important thing to this person 
was the first animal that comes out of his barn that day. It wasn't so important. The fact that he said black is Lav Dafka. He also meant if it was white, he would also be Makadah. That's why he said Chazi Arisho. So the Gemara challenges back. Right? But at the end of the day, right, you want to say, okay, the first animal that comes out, that's what he really meant. But the fact that he said Shor Shachar, and presumably he only has one black animal and one white animal, right? So he obviously meant the black animal because, right, <clears throat> he, the fact, even though the words Lizzie or Rishon presumably could mean anything, but he presumably only had one black animal. So to say he may, really he meant, right, the first animal that comes out, right? He would have to have more than one black animal for that to make sense. <clears throat> So the Gemara says, "Leisay alahai lo shrikha the isay train class." And he has two or three black animals. He has two or three black animals. So therefore, when he said the chi rishon, he really meant whichever animal comes first, whether it's black or white, right? <clears throat> so that's what that makes sense. We still alomrim imk and sheyisay rishon mibayle. If it really we want to say that the main language that we focus on here, lech sheyisay rishon, that is coming first. He should have said Shayetse Barishon. The fact that he said Lik Shayetse Barishon shows that's not the most important part. The most important part is the black. The ox is black. The bull is black. Shayetse Barishon. If he wanted to say, I really, I don't care really which color animal. I happen to mention a color, but I really I care about the first animal that comes out. Whether it's black or white, really, technically, I don't really care. Shayetse Barishon. That's a more direct language that comes out first. That's what he should have said. The fact that he says Lik Shayetse Barishon. Shows that he really cared about the color more. I'm only Rabbi Mibarnish, the Rabbi Ashi, high hectish for toes to hectish the Kavana hope. So, <clears throat> fine. So, Beisham, I know, even the Shayetzi region, that's the most important of his language. So, Rabbi Mibarnish says to Rabbi Ashi, high hectish for toes to hectish for Kavana hope. So he answers back, Rabbi Barnish answers Rabbi Ashi, he answered back to Beisham Beis Hillel's claim, right? It's it really Hagdish Bekavanah Shum, the Atiya Lidi Bure, Kama, right? He's just explaining Beisham Beis Hillel more, that really, it was Hagdish, he planned to be Makdish, the first thing that came out, comes out, right? Not like Beis Hillel, Shayetse Barisha, that's the main part of his language, right? So he, he meant, even if the white animal comes first, he meant to be Makdish that. It was just his words got in the way, his words got in the way. Right, and he said white, but he really didn't mean to say he really he, he said black, but he really could have said white also. He made a mistake with his words, right? He should have said nothing. He should have said shiate rish or whichever one. That's really what he meant. His words got in the way. He said black. It turned out to be white. That's not the main part of his words. So he made a mistake with his words. So that's just a further explanation of Beishamai. This is Rav Papa's opinion. We're gonna have another opinion of Baye. To give a different explanation of why Bishama would say this. So the Gemara says, We sorry Bishama Hektish would tell us love Hektish. We shall really hold Hektish by mistake is not Hektish. Right. So we're saying here our Mishnah is different. But Hektish Patos, right, would not be Hektish. You made a mistake, right? It's really meant to say black and it turned out white. It wouldn't be Hektish. We have a Mishnah or Bryce that seems to indicate it would not be Hektish. It would be Hektish. Nonetheless, even if you made a complete mistake. That now we have a Mishnah. Mishnah another of a Nazir. Mishnah the Chacham made Tiro. He took a Naziris upon himself, and he went to the Chacham and Ramatir his Naziris. Right? He said, "I died to the Hak. I didn't know Naziris would be so difficult, right? Or I didn't, I didn't really know what Naziris was. So it was a mistake, right?" Before he was Matir his Naziris, he set aside an animal for the Korban. This is from a Shlom and then a Naziris. Take a Tiro be'Eder. Once he's Matir his Naziris, the animal loses its consecration. And it's not Kadosh at all. It can go back to the to graze among the flock. Amru Beishel Beisham. He tells us Beisham. He gets a mode. Mishah Hakdish Betos. Who with Hei Tzev Etzira Beider, right? Why do you have to say right that he went and he was matir matir than Nazirus, right? The fact that Hakdish Betos who, right? You don't have to go to the Chachamim and matir Nazirus. The person can say, oh, I didn't plan on making the Nazirus. A mistake that I took the Nazirus upon myself. Right, you can matter your own nazir, not matter the nazir. You still be obligated in the nazirus, but the hektish, right, was betos. So you don't have to go and matter the nazirus. You got that modern hektish betos of betos of the rebbe either. Without going to matter the nazirus, it should go back and be able to graze among the flock. 
Michlal, the fact that Michlal is challenging Beishama, like the Sarah Beishama, Hector Betos, heavy Hector's. Hector Betos, Beishama holds, it is Hector's. Right? Ella, so the Gemara says no. Basila who the kato. Basila is making a mistake. Every time I do Beisham, Mishum the actors for toes have actors. They thought that Beisham's reasoning is that is hectic for toes is considered hectic. The Amri lohun Beisham. I love Mishum the hectic for toes. So El Mishum the Ati lezivure kama. It's not because right hectic for toes is hectic right, which would seem to indicate from our Mishnah. It's because, like we explained before, like Rav Papa explained before, he made a mistake with his language, right? Really, he meant to say the first animal that comes out. The fact that he added the word black, ah, black bull, that wasn't so important. He made a mistake with his language, so we don't, we discredit the language. We go with the first part of the main part of his statement, which is the original. So, Mar says, Sorry, Bishamai, Hector, Bishamai, Hector, Bishamai, Hector. Again, the Gemara challenges. According to Bishamai, our mission is different, but really, Bishan would agree with Beis Hillel. That Hector's toe is not Hector. It's just not true. Tashma, Yumahalkam Adarach, they're walking on the road. There are some people walking down the street, top of Laman Aleph and Beis. The Echad Abak and Egdon. One person came opposite them. Amar Echad, Harini Nazir Shazep Ploni. He says, I'll be, I'll be second thing in Nazir's by myself. I'm pretty sure it's my friend, Ruvain, or whatever. Uh, Charlie, my friend. Shazep <laughs> Shazep Ploni. Vechadamar, the second, there's six people here. Vechadamar, the second person said, I already know Zir Shain Zeplomi. No, I don't agree with you. It's not, it's not Ruven. I already know Zir. A third person said, I already know Zir Shain Zeplomi. He says, I'm a Nazir, right? That one of you, right, the first two people, is a Nazir. Or the fourth person said, Shain Echad Mikhem Nazir. That neither of you is a Nazir. Shashnechem Nazir. Or both of you are Nazir. Shakulchem Nazir. Or that you're all Nazir. Beishamai are in Kulam Nazirim. Beishamai says they're all Nazirim. And all six people are Nazirim, even though, obviously, right, some of them made a mistake, even though, for sure, some of them made a mistake, because they, they both, the first two, can't both be Nazirim, right? Nonetheless, we disregard the fact that it's impossible, right? Nonetheless, it becomes a Nazir. The Haka Hekish Betosu. For sure, the first two people, right, they weren't sure if it's Ruven or not. So he said, I'm a Nazir of his ruling. He said, I'm a Nazir of his not ruling. So, and the, the the last, you know, 4K, four people, right? There's no way there's in the zero. It's nonetheless, they're all in the zero. It's definitely Hektish Betosu. It's not a cool in the zero. Nonetheless, Allah, according to Bishamai, they're all in the zero. So you see, Hektish Betosu is Hektish according to Bishamai. We saw Bishamai, Hektish Betosu, have a Hektish Hachalo. He says, really, in, in that case, you're right. It is a proof. How come that? There it is. Here it's different. Here it's not. Here it's not a proof. Really, they hold Hector Bedos is Hector. However, from our Mishnah, it's not a proof because our Mishnah was talking about where he said Lakshayetze Risho, and that was the main part of his language. And he made a mistake. He stumbled in his language. That's rough, Papa. Abayi Amar, Abayi is a different answer. Locus talking about the kind Safra. What's the case in our Mishnah? I'm not talking about. He's standing in the morning at nine o'clock in the morning. He says whichever animal comes out of the barn, they come out of the barn at eleven o'clock in the morning. Whatever animal comes out of the barn at eleven o'clock. Right, the black one, the first one that comes out, the first black one that comes out is considered to be hectic. What are we talking about? The coin batira, he's already at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. He doesn't know which animal came out. He had obviously a camera over there it's telling him, going to tell him after the fact which one came out first. The heavy hectic, the black one that comes out first should be hectic. Amule, love enough for they say, look, look at the, the video, look at the replay. No, it was the white one came out first. When he heard about that, if I would have known that the white one came out, I wouldn't have said black. I mean, really, I, I meant what I meant was the first one that comes out, right? Even though now I found that it, it's white. I would have wanted that to be hectic. And that's why it's hectic, because after the fact, he corroborates that. It's not, it's not really Batos, because at the end of the day, he says, I would have wanted either one. The fact that my language seems to indicate only the black one, but now I indicated I want the white one. The words of Mimatsis Amris, the Koyim Betira, Asik. We say our mission is talking about he's already after the fact. He's in the afternoon. Maktani Dinar Shal Zav Shiala Shiala. The second case of the mission, he's talking about I'm picking up out of the pile a coin, a golden coin. It says Shiala, I'm going to pick up in the future. So the Gemara says, Oh, Tani Shiala, change the words of the Mishnah Shiala after he took it out. That already came. Chabesh Aliyah and Shatala. 
Third case, right? He's going to take a barrel of wine. No, Tani Sha'alsa. Switch around the words that came. I'm a Rav Chista. So Rav Chista makes a statement. Uchma b'chivra lakya. Chivra b'uchma lakya. If you have, basically he's saying a black bull is inferior to a white bull. If you have a herd full of white bulls, a black bull ruins the herd because, you know, it's like a black sheep. Chivra b'uchma lakya. Now this statement, the article translates a little differently. It would seem that, you know, a white bull among black herd is also bad, but they interpret, no, white is superior. He just meant to say that if a black bull has a white spot, right, that ruins that ruins a black bull. But anyway, the important part is the first part of the statement, that a white bull is superior to a black bull, and uh, if you have a black bull among a herd of white bull, it ruins it. It's none. It devalues it. It's none. The Mishnah says, the black bull that comes out of my house is hectic. Something like the ki maktish buying ra maktish. When a person's maktish something, right? They do it in a stingy way, right? Meaning, if they find out, right, that it's better, they would be upset. If they find out it's worse, they'd be okay. I don't know if have a hectic. And Beishami says it's hectic, right? It turns out it was he said black, and it turns out white. So obviously, he doesn't want a white one because white is worth more, according to Rav Chista. Velamai, the says maybe no. I in your mouth is really you'll tell me. When people do hectic, they're in a generous mood. So if a white one, which is superior, comes out, they'll be happy with it. And that's why it's hectic. Dino shall zav shi'ala be yadi rishon v'ala b'kesef v'yishayim on hectic. Right? So we're going to say that a person does it wholeheartedly in a generous way. So the second case doesn't make any sense. Right? He shouldn't be happy. He should want the, the superior thing. Silver is worth a hundred times less than gold. Velomai, something where it says what? Iron raw, mach, you can say from the, the middle case, from the gold and silver, that a person does in a stingy way. Generally, olive oil is more valuable than wine. People don't realize this. Olive oil is really more valuable than wine. So you're stuck. Second case and the third case, you know, contradict each other. No, the third case of the Mishnah. Was taught in the Galil, was taught in for the the the, the Galilee, the, the northern part of Israel. The Chamra Adivim Mashka, they're the wine, right? The Kinneret, that area, a very fertile area. So the wine is more expensive than olive oil. That's what Amisha is talking about. So the Reisha Kasha Larav Chesa. So okay, so the last two cases, right? He's Mahdish Ba'ayin Ra. So therefore, he's happy with the 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 the. the the silver coin, and he's happy with the oil. Um, what about the ratio? Rav Chisda says the white is superior. I'm not Rav Chisda. I'm even Tura de Carmenai. Right? Where do I say really a black bull is better than a white bull? When do I say a white bull is better than a black bull in a place called Carmenai? I don't know where this is. Carmenai, or a certain uh, species of um, of cows, of bulls. Those, the white bulls, are superior. Okay, whatever a carmenai is, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a place or a species of I don't know the species of cows. I know basically there's New Jersey cows, Jersey cows, and Holden, Holden, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, there's different, you know, obviously there's the Angus beef, Angus type of cows and stuff like that. You know, there's different spe- uh, species and families of cows. Carmenai, I don't know what it is. I don't know if Uchma. So then I'll continue. Rav Chisda takes another statement. Uchma lemashchei, right? Black cows. What what's the best part of a black cow? The 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 leather. Sumka, a red cow. If you don't use a paradum, I'm sorry. The best part of it is meat. If you want good meat, go get a red cow. Chivra laradia, a white cow. It's not really good for its leather or its meat. It's good. It works. It's a stronger cow. It plows better. I'm Rav Chisda. Uchma bechivra lakhe. How can he say this? He says if you have a flock of uh, white cows and a black cow is amongst it. It ruins it, meaning basically saying white cows are superior to black cows. Generally, cows, it's more valuable, the leather, than the working. So how could he say a black cow is really more valuable than a white cow because a black cow, you get the leather as opposed to just working. So the my answer is Kiamri Batorma Karmanai. When he says that the white cow is better, he was only talking about a place in Karmanai where there, I guess, the leather of the white cows is actually just as good or even better than the leather of the black cows. However, in general, black bulls, uh, their leather is better and they're superior than white bulls. That's the conclusion of today's share. We'll leave the mission for tomorrow. Stay tuned for Ion with Ben Sion, very fundamental Ion Ben Sion. We talk about 
the nature of hektish. Hektish um, is when you consecrate something based on Ridash. Our mission deals with both hektush is a goof and kedush is um, Either way, hektish is unique from shvua, even though it's a type of of shvu, it's a type of neder. However, it's it's a little bit different, and it plays out in the sheet of Beit Shammai, the way it's explained by Rav Papa and Abaye. Stay tuned, you can see on coming up next.